George Spicer Year 2, Miss Buckley here again with another writing video for you this week. So, very excitingly, we have been learning all about the human body, all about our body this week and all the different amazing functions that it has. So, one of the things we've been learning about this week for our writing is the five senses. Now, it's really important that we remember what the five senses are because we can use them in our writing in the future and it's important to know them for our science as well. So our five senses are things that we can do when we experience things. So they are to see, to see things, to look around what you can see, what you can hear, what you can smell, what you can taste and what you can touch. So that is how we experience things. So what can you smell, hear, see, taste, or touch? They are our five senses. So to warm us up before we start going into our writing this week, I want you to ground yourself where you are right now and have a think about what you can sense using your senses. So what can you see? Maybe close your eyes. What can you hear? What can you smell? I can hear the sound of traffic outside. I can see where I live. I can see the screen. What can I smell? Oh, I can smell the chicken cooking in the oven. What can I taste? Can't taste too much because I'm standing here, but maybe you're just eating something. What can you taste? What can I touch? Well, I can touch my head, my clothes. I can feel my clothes on me. I can feel the floor under my feet. So position yourself now, stand up, watch this video and what can you sense using your senses? That's your Star Trek activity, off you go. Great, so now we have discovered our five senses, we are going to take a little adventure into Willy Wonka's chocolate factory and we're gonna have a think about how our senses would experience that amazing place. Now if you think about it, there'd be loads of smells, loads of sights, lots of yummy tastes. What could you hear when you're there? So we're going to be writing all about how our senses experience that fantastic room. So before we do that, I think we need to go there. What do you think? So let's have a look. There's a video which is on the pack for you if you want to have a look at the video and I'll put in the picture right now and we'll have a little look. Mm. So here we have Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. You can see a waterfall in the back there. You can see a beautiful bridge, all the toadstools made of sweets, the candy floss trees. Think about all of the senses. What can you see? What can you hear? What would you be able to taste? What would you be able to touch? Think of that incredible smell as you walked in. Really picture yourself there. What can you sense? So now you've had a look at the picture or you've watched the video and now what we're going to do is get all our fantastic ideas down onto paper before we start writing. So we're going to make a spider diagram of what did I sense? What did I sense in the chocolate factory? What did I see? What did I hear? What did I smell? What did I taste? What did I touch? What did I sense? So we're going to get our spider diagram done now and we're going to have a look at all the things that we sensed. So here we have the beginnings of my spider diagram. So I'm thinking to myself, what did I sense? Now, I think what I'm going to start with is what I could see. So I could see the green grass. Now, what could I hear? Hmm, I'm going to say I could hear the thundering thundering waterfall. And I'll get waterfall written down here. So think about all of the things that you could see, hear, taste, touch and smell. What did you sense? Let's get yours nice and full and fantastic. Think about that. Okay, so you should now have a full and fantastic spider diagram full of all the amazing things that you sensed when you were in the chocolate factory. So before we start get going on our writing, we're going to look at our success criteria. So what are the teachers looking for in your brilliant writing this week? So firstly, to start us off, as always, our fantastic and important capital letters, full stops and finger spaces. Let's make sure that these sentences are as golden as they can be. I've been super impressed with the writing that I've been seeing and I know it's only going to get better. So let's make sure we get these in. 
The next one, of course, make sure you get in the five senses. So you're making sure you're getting in what you can see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. All the really important five senses that we are looking at. What can you experience in the chocolate factory? Think about all of them. And also some interesting adjectives, making sure we're getting the describing words in, describing how it sounds, how it looks, how it smells, describing it. So as I said before, the thundering waterfall, the crashing chocolate river, the luscious green grass, the spotted tall toadstools, all those amazing things to describe what you are seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting and touching, okay? And finally, apostrophes. If you really want to challenge yourself, let's get in some apostrophes. I've seen lots of you use, this, use these really, really well on the spag questions that you send me through on your emails. So make sure that we're getting those apostrophes into our writing as well, we're practicing them, okay? So now we have the success criteria all ready to go. Now we're going to have a look at three sentences that I have written see how I've done. Is there any way that you could make them better? Let's see. So here are my three sentences. The room was chocolate. I could hear the waterfall. I could smell some sweets. What mistakes have I made? Can you correct them? Can you add in a conjunction? Can you add in some adjectives? What punctuation am I missing? Let's get three super sentences down please. They're even better than mine. Hopefully you have corrected some of my donut mistakes and you have written some fantastic sentences ready to put into your writing in a minute. So before we start writing, one last thing, let's have a look at the modelled write to give you some inspiration, to give you a few ideas and to see how you can get your writing flowing. Let's have a look. And here we have the modelled write, if you would like to use this for any inspiration or any ideas. As I walked into the huge, intimidating room, my senses all came alive at the same time. I could hear the thunderous crashing of a chocolate waterfall, and as I spun around on the spot, I saw the deep brown, chocolatey river running through the room. I could smell the delicious chocolate from every corner of the room, but there were also some smells I didn't recognise. My hands reached for everything I could touch, so I could check this magical place was real. The grass was soft and melted slightly in my hands as I swept my fingers over it. The magnificent factory was a bright and beautiful place to be, and my eyes feasted on the never-ending chocolatey wilderness. So that's it. Off we go into the chocolate factory. We're going to start writing our fantastic writing now. Good luck. Make sure you remember that success criteria and make sure you're thinking about all of your fantastic senses, okay? What can you sense? What can you experience in this magnificent, wonderful chocolate factory? Enjoy and don't get too hungry.